What is going on, fellow CEOs? How are you? What's up? Let me know in the comments below what you're doing right in this moment. Stop right now and comment. Be honest. Are you dawdling? Are you scrolling? Are you on Instagram? Are you still watching the 18th TikTok video that has popped up on your screen? <laughs> I see you. I know. I do that same stuff. So, okay, you guys, I'm going to tell you about my experience with JKR thus far. So, um, before JKR, oh Lord, heaven, heaven help us. I am so sorry for anybody I've stalked prior to joining JKR. You guys, I was one of those people that would message. I'd drop in your DM. I didn't talk to you since high school. I haven't talked to you since... First grade when you were my Sunday school teacher and I'm dropping in your DM. Hey, are you considering trying a shake? I would do that. I spent so much time messaging people privately. And I shared so many crappy memes that didn't mean anything to anybody except for me. And I, I was really hateful to myself. I didn't think I was the person for the job. I thought, okay, I, I'm, I'm not the person. It's fine. I thought I had to achieve a certain like achievement standard in order to be worthy of gaining clients. I was pretty sad. Let me just tell you the whole backstory. So in March of last year, I retired myself from my corporate job. I had been working in that job for five years. I went to college for that job. My job was a chicken tender. I took care of chickens and I took care of the people who took care of the chickens, which were illegal immigrants, which were people that came out of jail, which were people, some of them were so good. But then there was also like, it was hard, man, to, there's a lot of, a lot of drugs and a lot of mm, negativity working in that position, especially being, I was the one, I was the, the, the production manager. So I managed these people. I was the only woman. So it was, it was a little bit challenging for some people to take authority from a woman. And also there's just a real lot of dirt. It was a dirty job. I love chickens and we had to kill chickens on a daily basis. And it was just crushing and crippling on my soul. So I said, okay, I just started this network marketing consulting work with a nutrition company two years prior to leaving. So I was like, okay, having this experience and rolling about 35 people, I can probably get by with that. And then I had t been teaching yoga part-time. So I was like, I'll go full-time on the yoga and then full-time on the Reiki, which I'd been doing Reiki from, from my home. And I was like, I'll just rent a space and start doing Reiki and I'll get, I'll get through this, you know? And I started getting a little down. Summertime came, March was my last day at that job. And um, I, I, I contemplated going back in about summer. I, I had some employees drive by the house and they begged me to come back and I was considering it, even though, even though it was like the worst thing. So, now, after joining JKR, you guys, thank the Lord. I am so grateful. I said yes to Travis. Travis had had been liking on my post. I noticed that. And all of a sudden he called me and I was pretty pretty excited to jump on the phone with him to, to hear about what he had because I was pretty, pretty well struggling with my social media. I'm sure he's seen that. Uh, as far as like reaching out to people and getting those online clientele, and I learned how to find what an ideal client is. I had no idea that was really a thing. I remember I learned a lot of the stuff, but I just didn't know how, how to channel that energy and like change. So, so I loved how Abby just got me channeled in. I'm like, here is a schedule of what you're actually going to do. And I wanted to do it to show her that it wouldn't work. I was a little bit like, ah, it's not going to work. She told me to post stories. Huh, that's not going to work. Let me just show you how bad of a life I have. Nobody's going to want to watch my stories. And it wasn't even a week or two later, and I already had people people coming into my DM. It wasn't even my birthday, and they were messaging me. <laughs> and 
I, I am doing, I'm not considering going back to that job at this point. Like I have more leads than I almost have time for right now. It's, it's phenomenal. It really is. And what would you say to someone who is thinking about joining JKR? I would say just trust them. Trust Abby and trust Joe, Joe and trust Travis. Let them lead you. Like take them, hold on to their freaking hand and when they say do five day messenger process, do five day messenger process. When they say post every single day, post every single day. Um, I, it's worth it. It was worth it for me and it still is. I actually just had a client come around that I started doing this five day messenger process. I keep speaking of, if you haven't done it yet, I'm sure Travis and Abby and Joe will get you there, but I, she's coming around and it was back in September. I did the messenger process with her and it is now January and she is asking me, what is this? What is this you speak of? Tell me more. So I'm learning the right steps to take and how to use my energy to actually make a difference and tell my story. I'm actually telling my story, which would be by telling my story. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like going to therapy with my friends on social media. I felt, I feel like I'm healthier now ever since joining JKR. Um, I'm just grateful because I can wake up in the morning and know what to do in a day that's actually worth my time. I can wake up in the morning feeling energized. I'm grateful that I have help. I am grateful for all of you guys in this group because without you, it wouldn't be the same experience. I, I love interacting with all the others in the group and hearing what you guys do. And for that, I am grateful. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Abby. Thank you all. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. I'd love to hear, hear your thoughts.